people from unexpectedness experienced serious stress, and once again everyone started talking about climate change. Severe thunderstorms caused severe damage in German-speaking Switzerland. A hotel in Emmental was flooded. A storm in Emma overflowed its banks in the canton of Bern. The rains caused significant damage to the municipality of Shang now in Emmental, Belgium. At the iconic hotel Kemmeribaden Bad, the reception and entrance were completely flooded. The people inside had to take shelter on the first floor to escape the flood. Eyewitnesses transmitted the first shots of the destroyed institution. The affected hotel is closed until further notice. This situation is so terrible. It hurts so much to see what happened. Moreover, everyone managed the hotel with such love, said an employee of the 20 minutes establishment. Flooding in Ima has resulted in injuries and damage to Shang now has yet to be calculated. The mayor of the city said, I can't believe I'm in shock, he said, thanking the emergency services and the public for the quick response. A bank account was opened to support those affected by the weather. After the storms in Emma, a maximum flow of 273 cubic meters per second was measured. This corresponds to an event that occurs roughly every 80 to 100 years, Matteo wrote. However, in July 2014, even more water passed through the same station in Nagaville, 339 cubic meters per second was measured. It is all to blame for the global changes on the planet that do not leave anyone indifferent even in the most secluded places on Earth. Impressive videos of wood carried by waves have appeared on the web. Other parts of German-speaking Switzerland were hit by heavy rains earlier in the week. A landslide cut a railway line and a road near Briens. A car was swept into the lake, no one was injured, the cantonal police of Bern said. A tree fell on the tracks in the same area. Heavy rains also hit the cantons of Lucerne and Obwalden, with no significant damage reported so far. The lightning also caused two fires in Altendorf, in the canton of Schwyz, at the end of the day and in the morning.